Hi everyone and welcome back to Dom Designs. Today we're going from photo to vector, creating this clean flat design of a New Balance sneaker in Adobe Illustrator. First, I drag my sneaker photo into Illustrator. I head over to the Layers panel, double click the layer, check the template box and dim the image down to 50%. Above this, I created two new layers, one called Outline and one called Color. With the Outline layer selected, I grab the Pen tool, the shortcut is P on your keyboard and start tracing the exterior of the shoe with a black stroke. I keep my strokes clean and simple and avoid going overboard with any details at this stage. If any lines overlap where I don't want them to, I just select both and use a Shape Builder tool. I hold Option or Alt on my keyboard and click on the part that I want to remove. It's clean and easy. For stitching, I select an existing nearby stroke. Then I go to the object menu at the top, under Path, Offset Path. I adjust the value until it matches the stitching placement in my reference. Then I go to the stroke panel, I check Dashed Line, and play around with the dash and gap values as well as the stroke width until I'm happy with the look. I repeat this process for all the other stitching sections on the shoe. Creating the New Balance N logo. I start blocking in the main shape using the line tool, making sure to duplicate the lines when I want to keep the same angle. It saves a lot of guesswork. Once the basic shape is there, I grab the Shape Builder tool, drag over the parts I wanted to combine, and then hold Option or Alt to delete the excess lines, leaving behind a clean N shape. To create the inner edge of the end, I go to Object Path Offset Path. Adjust until the inside edge matches the reference, and then hit OK. For the stripe detail inside the end, I draw a straight line. I duplicate it by holding Option or Alt and dragging. And then I hit Command or Control D to keep the duplication until I have a full set. I then superimpose this line pattern on top of the end and copy and paste in front the inner end in front. Give it a black fill and then select both the end and the lines and create a clipping mask. This locks the pattern inside the shape perfectly.
Once the outline is done, I select everything on the outline layer and copy it over to the color layer by holding Option or Alt and dragging the red square in the layers panel down to the color layer. I then lock the outline layer so I don't accidentally mess with it. On the color layer, I delete any shape or lines that don't need coloring. Next, I press K on my keyboard to activate the Live Paint Bucket tool. You can grab my DOM Designs color palette, which you can go on my Etsy shop, and the link is in the description, and start filling each closed shape one by one. When I've applied all my base colors, I go to Object, expand and make sure object fill and stroke are checked and hit ok. Then I right click, I choose ungroup and delete all the strokes on this layer. Don't worry the black strokes are still safely on the outline layer. Finally, I unlock the outline layer and delete any thin detail strokes I created earlier that I want to use as shadow instead. This gives a nice subtle effect. To give the sneaker some depth, I make a new layer under the color layer and call it shadow. With the ellipse tool, I create a black oval under the shoe. For the mesh area, I hit command or control Y on my keyboard to switch into outline or wireframe mode. This way, I can see the photo while still working with my vector shapes. With the pen tool, I draw a shape where the mesh will be. Then I clean up the edges using the shape builder tool. With the shape selected, I head to the Swatches panel, click Open Swatch Library, go to Patterns, Basic Graphics, Dots, and pick a dotted pattern. This opens in a new Swatch tab and I click to apply it. In the Transparency panel, I lower the opacity so it blends in nicely with the rest of the shoe. I repeat this process for every mesh section. To finish, I add extra depth by drawing shapes directly on the color layer using the pen tool. I use slightly darker tones for shadows and slightly lighter tones for highlights. These little details make the illustration feel polished and give the sneaker some life. And there you have it, a complete flat vector of a New Balance 530 from a simple photo reference. All done in Adobe Illustrator. If this tutorial helped you out, please give it a like, subscribe for more vector design content, and let me know in the comments what sneakers you'd like me to illustrate next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Dom Designs video. Cheers everyone!